Yeah, my son was shot in the, in the club in the Pulse in Orlando, and he's still in the bathroom when he's bleeding. He got shot, and nobody's going in for him. One six nine seven means we got shots fired at four fifteen a.m. at the Route ninety one sounded like an automatic firearm. Nine one one, what is your emergency? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's happening? Someone is doing what? Hello? 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 Is being shot up? Are you at the school? I can't hear you. Are you at the school? Around 33,000 people are killed by guns every year. Around 25 children are killed by guns every week. In 2018, a total of 307 mass shootings occurred. In 2017, there were 346. This all begins with the ease of purchasing a gun. In most states, you don't need to show a license, registration, or even have a permit. In Hawaii, New York, and the District of Columbia, you need to obtain a permit to buy a handgun. In California, Connecticut, Hawaii, Maryland, New York, and New Jersey, you need to obtain a permit to buy a pre-ban assault weapon, rifle, or shotgun. That is only 7 out of the 50 states that require a permit to buy a gun. So when I turn 18, all I have to do is walk into a gun store, show the gun dealer my ID, and wait for a background check to be complete. A background check is technically valid for up to 30 days, but in reality it usually renders an instant verdict. Then I can purchase my rifle or shotgun and be on my way, all in under 5 minutes. The overall solution to this problem would be for the government to make it more difficult to obtain guns. In 2012, following a mass shooting at an elementary school in Newton, Connecticut, in which 20 of the 26 victims were children, Obama proposed new legislation supporting gun control. His plan to reduce gun violence included a focus on mental health treatment, limiting magazine sizes, strengthening background checks, and restarting federal gun research that had been frozen for years. But all of the laws were rejected in Congress. Federal legislation should be passed in every state, so all persons should be required to get a permit before purchasing a gun. There should also be a specific permit for each type of gun, so if you have a rifle and a handgun, you would need two different licenses to be able to own those guns. Background checks on people trying to buy guns should be more thorough and looked into harder. For every gun purchase, there should also be a psychological evaluation through the CDC given to the person who wants to buy a gun. It should also take at least one week until a person is allowed to receive a gun in order to reduce the number of crimes of passion that are committed because it wouldn't allow people to just go out and buy a gun on the spot and kill someone. When selling a gun through gun shows and private sales, customers are not required to have a permit to buy a gun or required to get a background check. The federal government should allocate more money to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms in order to try and regulate more transaction in gun shows or private sellers. no harm in that really fight for your lives before it's someone else's job nothing is more powerful than millions of voices calling for change <laughs>